What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about governance, risk, and compliance as it relates to cybersecurity. So let's get into it. In the realm of cybersecurity, managing the myriad of threats, regulations, and organizational policies, this is a complex but critical task. And governance, risk, and compliance, this is a strategic framework designed to help organizations align their information technology with business objectives while managing risk and meeting regulatory requirements. In this video, we're going to talk about the concept of GRC in cybersecurity, explaining what it is, its components, benefits, challenges, best practices, and its role in modeling modern organization. All right, so exactly what is GRC? So governance, risk, and compliance. This is an integrated approach to managing an organization's overall governance, risk management, and compliance with regulatory requirements. In cybersecurity, GRC helps organizations protect their information assets, ensure regulatory compliance, and align security strategies with business goals. Now let's talk about some of the key characteristics of GRC. So first we have what is called an integrated approach. So GRC, this combines governance, risk management, and compliance into a unified framework. There's alignment with business goals. So GRC ensures that cybersecurity efforts support and align with the organization's strategic objectives. They have regulatory compliance. GRC, this helps organizations comply with relevant laws, regulations, and industry standards. And then there's risk management. So GRC identifies, assesses, and mitigates risk to the organization's information assets. All right, next let's talk about the components of GRC. So GRC, this encompasses three primary components and each component plays a vital role in ensuring a robust cybersecurity posture. So governance, this refers to the policies, procedures, and structures that guide an organization's cybersecurity efforts. It involves establishing clear roles and responsibilities, setting strategic objectives, and ensuring accountability. And effective governance, this ensures that cybersecurity initiatives are aligned with business goals and are supported by top management. And some of the key elements of governance are as follows. You have policy development. So this is where you create comprehensive cybersecurity policies and procedures. You have leadership and accountability. This is when you define roles and responsibilities for cybersecurity. There's strategic alignment. This is when you ensure cybersecurity initiatives, support business objectives, and then you have performance measurement. And this is when you track and report on cybersecurity performance. All right, the next major component is risk management, and this involves identifying, assessing, and mitigating risk to the organization's information assets, and it is a continuous process that helps organizations understand their risk landscape and implement controls to reduce the impact of potential threats. And some of the key elements of risk management are as follows. So we have what is called a risk assessment, and this is where you identify and evaluate risk to information assets. You have risk mitigation, this is when you implement controls to reduce risk to acceptable levels. You have risk monitoring. This is when you continuously monitor and review risk and controls. And then you have incident response. And this is when you develop and implement plans to respond to security incidents. And the third major component of GRC is compliance. And this involves adhering to laws, regulations, and industry standards related to cybersecurity. And it ensures that the organization meets legal and regulatory requirements and follows best practices. And the key elements of compliance are as follows. So obviously there are the regulatory requirements. So you need to understand and comply with relevant laws and regulations. You have standards and frameworks. So you need to adopt industry standards and frameworks such as ISO 27001, NIST, and GDPR. You have audits and assessments, so you need to conduct regular audits and assessments to ensure compliance. And then there's documentation and reporting, so you want to maintain records and report compliance status to stakeholders. All right, next, let's go over some of the benefits of GRC. So implementing a GRC framework in cybersecurity, this offers numerous benefits for organizations. The first is an improved security posture. So GRC helps organizations identify and mitigate risk, which reduces the likelihood of security incidents and improves overall security. You have regulatory compliance. So GRC ensures that organizations comply with relevant laws and regulations, avoiding legal penalties and reputational damage. 
damage. You have strategic alignment. So GRC aligns cybersecurity initiatives with business objectives, ensuring that security efforts support and enhance organizational goals. You have enhanced risk management. So GRC provides a structured approach to identifying, assessing, and managing risk, enabling organizations to proactively address potential threats. Another benefit is operational efficiency. So GRC streamlines processes and improves efficiency by integrating governance, risk management, and compliance activities. You have informed decision-making. So GRC provides valuable insights and data that support informed decision-making and strategic planning. And then we have increased accountability. So GRC establishes clear roles and responsibilities, ensuring accountability and transparency in cybersecurity efforts. All right, next, let's talk about some of the challenges of implementing GRC. So despite its benefits, implementing a GRC framework, this can be challenging in organizations. They may face several obstacles like complexity. So implementing GRC, this can be complex, requiring significant resources, expertise, and coordination across various departments. And then there's the cost factor. So the cost of implementing and maintaining a GRC framework, this can be high, particularly for small medium-sized enterprises. There's change management. So adopting a GRC framework, this may require significant changes to existing processes and culture, which can be met with resistance from employees. Another challenge is regulatory changes. So keeping up with constantly changing regulations and standards, this can be challenging and resource intensive. You have integration challenges. So integrating GRC activities with existing systems and processes can be difficult, particularly in large, complex organizations. And then you have continuous monitoring. So GRC requires continuous monitoring and updating to remain effective, which can be resource intensive. All right, so let's move on to talking about best practices of implementing GRC in cybersecurity. So to successfully implement a GRC framework in cybersecurity, organizations should follow these best practices. So the first thing you want to do is establish clear objectives. So you need to define clear objectives for your GRC program, aligning them with business goals and regulatory requirements. You need to engage leadership. So you need to secure support and commitment from top management to ensure the success of your GRC program. You want to develop comprehensive policies, so you need to create detailed cybersecurity policies and procedures that address governance, risk management, and compliance. You want to conduct regular risk assessments, so you need to perform regular risk assessments to identify and evaluate potential threats to your information assets. You also want to implement robust controls, so you need to deploy technical, administrative, and physical controls to mitigate identified risks. Another best practice is continuous monitoring. So you want to continuously monitor your GRC program and update it to address new threats and regulatory challenges. There's training and awareness. So you need to provide ongoing training and awareness programs to ensure that employees understand their roles and responsibilities in the GRC framework. There's leveraging technology. So you want to use GRC tools and software to automate processes, improve efficiency, and enhance visibility into your GRC. GRC activities. There's regular audits and reviews. So you need to conduct regular audits and reviews to ensure compliance with policies and regulations and to identify areas for improvement. And then you want to foster a culture of security. So you want to promote a culture of security within your organization, emphasizing the importance of GRC and encouraging proactive risk management. All right, next, let's talk about some case studies of successful GRC implementations. So examining successful GRC implementations, this can provide valuable insights and best practices. And here are a few notable case studies. So let's talk about the financial services. So a leading financial services company, they implemented a GRC framework to manage regulatory compliance and mitigate their risks. And by integrating GRC activities into their existing processes and leveraging advanced GRC GRC tools, the company improved its security posture and ensured compliance with industry regulations. You can also find GRC in healthcare. So a large healthcare provider, they adopted a GRC framework to address the complex regulatory requirements related to patient data protection. And the organization conducted regular risk assessments, implemented robust controls, and provided ongoing training to staff, which resulted in improved data security and compliance with HIPAA regulations. 
And you can also find GRC being utilized in manufacturing. So a global manufacturing company, they implemented a GRC program to manage risk associated with their supply chain. And by conducting thorough risk assessments and developing comprehensive policies, the company reduced supply chain disruptions and ensured compliance with international standards. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the future trends of GRC. So as technology and regulatory landscapes continue to evolve, the future of GRC and cybersecurity will be shaped by several trends. The first is that of an integration with AI and machine learning. So AI and machine learning will enhance GRC capabilities by providing advanced analytics, automating risk assessments, and improving threat detection. Then there's going to be a focus on data privacy. So with increasing data privacy regulations, GRC frameworks will place greater emphasis on data protection and privacy management. You have cloud-based GRC solutions, and these will offer greater flexibility, scalability, and cost effectiveness, making GRC accessible to a wider range of organizations. There's enhanced collaboration. So GRC frameworks will foster greater collaboration between departments, ensuring a holistic approach to governance, risk management, and compliance. You have cyber resilience, so GRC programs will increasingly focus on building cyber resilience, enabling organizations to quickly recover from security incidents and adapt to changing threats. And then you have continuous monitoring and real-time reporting. So continuous monitoring and real-time reporting, this will become standard practices, providing organizations with up-to-date insights into their risk and compliance status. So to wrap all of this up, GRC, this is a critical framework for managing cybersecurity in modern organizations. And by integrating governance, risk management, and compliance activities, GRC helps organizations protect their information assets, ensure regulatory compliance, and align cybersecurity efforts with business goals. Now, implementing a GRC framework, this can be challenging, but the benefits of improved security, regulatory compliance, and strategic alignment make it a worthwhile investment and by following best practices, leveraging technology and fostering a culture of security, organizations can successfully implement GRC and enhance their overall cybersecurity posture. Now, as technology and regulatory landscapes continue to evolve, staying informed about emerging trends and adapting GRC programs accordingly, this will be crucial for maintaining effective governance, risk management, and compliance in cybersecurity. So whether you are a small business or a large enterprise, GRC can and help you navigate the complexities of cybersecurity, protect your organization's valuable assets, and achieve long-term success.